Hello Pythonistas on YouTube, welcome back to another video series uh, and tutorial about where we're going to do some analysis on Google Plus platform. So um, this is one of the most recent big players to join the social network arena, which, which was launched in 2011. And it's described as a social layer across all of Google services. Uh, it experienced an, ext an extremely rapid growth in its user base with 10 million users after its first two weeks. So uh, after a number of redesigns towards the end of 2015, Google revealed their larger focus on communities and collections, moving uh, the service towards interest-based interest, interest -based networking. So in this video, we are going to set up our Google, uh, Google Plus API. The Google Plus API is the programming interface for Google Plus. This API can be used to integrate your app or website with Google Plus, similar to what we have already discussed for Twitter and Facebook. So this these videos is, uh, tutorials discusses the process of registering an application and getting started with the Google Plus API. So before we start, we need a Google account. So I hope, I assume that you already have an, a Google account. So if you haven't registered, go register uh, it. Uh, you can uh, create a Gmail, Blogger, and so on account. Uh, so this means that if you are user one of these services, your account can be quickly set up for Google+. And once you are registered and logged in, the starting point is the Google Developers Console, which is found here, console.developers.google.com slash start. That's where you should uh, uh, should go to. I'll write it in. So go ahead and and uh, go to that page. It will you will eventually end up here, and go to the. Uh, then you should st uh, get started with the project. Just create a project and go into the Google Plus API. After you've done that. So after the project has been started, we need to specifically enable the Google Plus API from the project dashboard. Use the Google APIs component that allows us to manage API access, create new credentials, and so on. Similar to the way a single Google account can be used to access several Google services, a single project can consume several APIs, APIs as long as they are enabled. So once you have created your Google API, you have to enable it here. So the credential tabs, I won't click it because I already set my API key up. So the credential tab is easily reachable from the left hand side menu. There are three different types of credentials, API key or OAuth client ID or service account key. So for these exercises, an API is, requ is required for uh, the simple API access. That is an API call that doesn't access any private user data. The key enables an application level authentication, which is mainly used to measure project usage for accounting purposes. And you also have an option, if you don't know which kind of uh, uh, authentication you use, you can use the help me choose option. Uh, but we will only need the um, a Google API key, a simple setup for sim simple access. And after you have set up your uh, your um, API key, uh, you need to install install Google API Python client. I already installed it. So Google provides an awful, an official Python client for Google, Google APIs, which can be installed in our environment using pip. 
so the client will be available through the Google API package, which is also ally aliased uh, simply as API client. So we're going to set up uh, an initial um, script that queries the Google Plus API searching for people or pages. So this example assumes that you already set up an API key for simple access through the credentials page on the project dashboard. We're, so we're not uh, accessing personal data yet. So similar to what we did with the Twitter and Facebook, we need we will follow the pattern of storing the credentials as environment var variables. What you do is go to your CMD or where, wherever you are. If you're using Windows, then you have to use this format. And after the equal sign, you just have to paste in your API key without any quotation marks and if you are on Mac then you have to use export equal and your API key because then you set it in the in the environment where variables so uh, pause the video to copy this code and don't worry about this I was just experimenting with some different stuff and put your query in here What do you want to search on? In this in this uh, is, uh, this case, we are not using arc parse. Uh, we are just hard coding it for some uh, reason. For some reason, the arc parse uh, does not take any uh, ar arguments from the command line. Uh, I, I don't know why. I tried to figure it out. I spent two days trying to understand it, but it doesn't work. So we have to hard code it in our script. So running this script will give us an, something similar to this. I'm searching for the surname Singh. So it gave us a, a JSON object that we saw. And the starting point for using the APIs is to create service object uh, using the build function from the gate and from the Google API client, we will prompt the service builder, which takes the name of the service we want to interact with, which is plus and the version, which is V1 as mandatory arguments followed by the developer key. And here we do some printing and searching. So this is one way of getting uh, uh, your your API to to see if it works. That's one way, and I played around with another code, which is here. Uh, copy it. I'll pause. Don't worry about the double here. It's uh, it's just a mistake. This is just another way of printing out. The result so have a go at it and uh, now our API is set up and working and communicating with the Google Plus API so I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and I see you in the next video where we're going to create a simple web uh, GUI with our uh, yeah, Google Plus API so I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. And if you like the video, please do subscribe, like, give me a thumbs up, share the video, or uh, please do comment. And yes, thank you for watching.